Hello everybody and welcome back to Calmston Farm. So you join me in November at 10 to 10 in the morning. This is just going to be a little bit of an update kind of video to show you some things that are going on. Not much can happen over winter, not really much field work, it's all a little bit quiet. But I didn't want to skip on too far ahead, so we're waiting basically until Jan. So Jan is the best time when we can sell our wheat for the best price. Our silage bales are the highest price in Jan as well. So we're waiting for that. There's not much in price difference, but with the quantity, it really does make a difference. So at the minute you can see, this is my big field of grass that we put in in the previous episode. If you have a look now, basically what I've done is I've gone through, we've cut it, and we've just got to work here doing some tedding because we're going to try and turn this all into hay. We're going to obviously then have to windrow it up and bale it and we're going to get a nice stack of hay bales now i could split it in half but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this because we have got until about april so i'm hoping like we've got the silage to sell when we sell some bits we could potentially get that field that i said number 10 which is just sort of through the hedge so we would have another grass field we could also go and cut the sheep pasture if we really need to we could do so what I'm trying to do is just build up hay, silage, grass. Obviously, sheep need grass. We need silage, straw, and hay to make TMR. TMR is going to make the cows produce milk and slurry and everything quicker. So the quicker we can get them onto TMR, the better. Now, we could use some of the silage bales that I've already got. But I'm just, I really want to boost the money up because at the minute we're six grand. We need some money. So... Signage and grass does grow pretty quick, so I don't think we need to worry too much. We have got two stacks, so we could potentially sell one stack. Another stack, what we just did, is fermenting. It's only about 40-odd percent fermented at the minute. So we could maybe hold on to one stack and sell the other. We just need to see. But at the minute, I'm going to focus on using this field to get me a nice amount of hay bales. It's going to be tricky to know exactly how many, because... This is a field that we've planted. It's not an in-game field, not like a grass field that I bought in-game like we have sort of used so far. So could we get more off this? Potentially we should get more off this. It was treated, it was okay. It was at a good level for grass. Because it's our own planted field, we should potentially get more off it. So I wouldn't even know where to start on a field the size of hay bales. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for 30 you want to have a go at predicting please do leave it in the comments below so another thing that's been going on to try and help money out which i am i think i'm regretting already i was looking through the contracts and i saw this one for one hundred and fifteen thousand pound i thought that is a beauty it's a sugar beet one not the best thing in the world so i, I decided you know what i'm going to borrow the equipment because i don't have a, a sugar beet harvester i don't really have any of the equipment a traction trailer not too bad I've had to borrow their tractor because I only have one tractor and it's currently doing a bit of tedding at the minute. This trailer's mine because the one that they give us is quite a pathetic sort of quantity level. It doesn't hold much. It holds about 20,000 litres. And sugar beet, already one fill of the machine, we're at 42,000. So that would have been two trips back and forth. I thought I'd use mine because mine's got no weight in it. So this, this tractor, it's a modded one. This tractor will be able to pull it okay. Let's just jump inside a little bit because the trees keep going through the camera. So this tractor is only a small tractor, but this trailer's got no weight in it and it holds 150,000 litres. Now, with sugar beet, that's probably going to be the best thing that we could do. Just less trips, really. But then I saw the size of this field. Yeah, let me just see if I can show you some of the field. Yeah, I think I might have bitten off more than I can chew here. No wonder it's paying 115,000. Look at the size. You can just see down here. There's the tractor, there's the harvester. It's done a couple of laps. We're already going to be at nearly 100,000 litres of sugar beet. Look at the size. What was I thinking? Now, I know I need money, but this might be taking it to a whole new level. So I've got a worker doing this. Obviously, I'm not going to do this myself. Now, I just have to keep appearing here every so often to empty the worker which is why i'm using my own trailer because it holds a lot more so far let's just see what this is going to be on this 
second tip now because this is a leased vehicle it, it it's part of the contract it's not like i can use anything myself like a, a modded one that i've got which holds several hundred thousand liters i could do if i leased it myself but i haven't got the funds to do that so we had to use the one which come with the contract and the beauty about that is the equipment doesn't come out of the cost until we finish the contract and we get paid at the end oh that machine's loud so at the end of the contract we get paid that's when they deduct the money for the equipment it's about five grand so it's not too bad now i can't really turn around crop destruction is off so we can go spin around in here plus it won't harm anything anyway because it's not our field we can't damage somebody else's so so far then we've got eighty-five thousand liters nearly eighty-six thousand liters trailers 57 percent full and you can see it's done that much so far and it's got yeah it's got that to do now it is set on course plate and i did go and jump into and if we just turn this off when we go tab through he's getting on pretty well which is the main thing while we're here is to sort of sort out my own field if we just go and tab through some of the vehicles we've got here we go we'll just back up a little bit because it's a little bit loud if we go and activate course play and it tells you at the bottom here the little screen of what we can expect from here how many waypoints it's got he's on number 737 out of 16,636 yeah estimated time i'm not sure if that, how accurate that is but it says nine hours 26 minutes oh my word so i'm not 100 percent sure if this was a good idea or not now technically we can cancel the contract i don't know if we get charged i'm assuming we're going to get fined for something i don't know what maybe the leasing costs but this could be yeah i, I definitely think this is probably something that, you know a bit off more than i could chew here now we could leave it running it is on a worker unfortunately he won't empty himself you can set course play to do it but the quantity of sugar beet ah oh, this this is mental so this is the trailer that they supplied on that contract look at the size of that it holds about twenty thousand liters why would you give me such a little trailer such a massive contract the sugar beet harvester holds like forty odd thousand liters per go i'd have so many trips back and forth and it's not exactly like it close the sell point so this red one here this is the field as you can see the purple is showing what's been harvested there's a heck of a lot to go i should have maybe checked this first i thought sugar beet i know it takes a little while to do sugar beet i should have checked the field before i accepted the contract i think it is the biggest field yeah, yeah it's probably it's probably getting on for one of the biggest fields on this map so this is where we are this is the tractor here and the sell point to sell all the stuff for this contract is all the way over here right down this road here along here up here and then we need to turn down this road here by our sheep pasture and it's got to go to this sell everything point here oh my word so can you see why if i had to use their little trailer i'd have to do two trips for every unload of the harvester it just wouldn't happen by the time you get there to tip it and come back it would have needed unloading again it's already stopped again now look it's stopped it's waiting for an unload this is just mental what was i thinking so our worker has gone and finished the teddy now the tedding on that field has all been done but also we need to come across and empty this guy again should be around about here somewhere let's just zoom out because it could be a little bit loud so this potentially is going to nearly fill the trailer so I think we might have to make a trip after this one to go and sell this. But I'll sell it. Sell, yeah, sell it, but it's it's part of the contract. So we won't get any money for it, but it, it will complete a little bit of the contract. Now, you don't have to complete every contract. It won't use the whole field. But I've got a feeling in a field like this, it's going to be quite a chunk of it before it actually comes up and says, oh, contract complete. Is it really worth 115000 to do this job? I mean, it's not a worker. I don't have to do anything apart from come back every so often when it's stopped to empty it. Now, this is definitely not something we're going to be able to complete in one episode. 
I'm just showing you now as a bit of an update of what's going on. This is going to have to be left running on its own as the cameras are off. There's just no way this is going to complete. I suppose you'll find out next time we come back if the bank account has gone up by 100 grand, you know this contract went through. If it hasn't gone up by 100 grand and I'm probably in the minus, you know that I threw my controller across the room and we give up on this. So obviously we've moved on a month later from when we saw this field and it seems like Jimmy has still not done anything with his field. It's still withered. It's still dead. I wonder if Jimmy's okay. I mean, why would you leave a field that size? I mean, look at it. Why would you leave a field that size and just do nothing with it? I'm, I'm wondering if, if... Is Jimmy ill? It seems very strange why he's going to left it. But a month later and still nothing's been done. It's not been cultivated or ploughed up. Have to wait and see what Jimmy's going to do with it. So all the tedding's been done, like I said. So all we need to do now is we've come across, we picked up the windrow, we've got it set on course plate. We're going to activate this and let the worker go and sort this out. And it will swath it up into some nice, nice lines. Well, well I'm hoping nice lines around the field. Let's just see how the worker does. Obviously, I've got no control over this. Just see what the worker does. It's just all opening out now. Here we go. It's looking pretty good so far. So I'm hoping then it should go and do four headlands around. And then it should start striping up and down. So that's the little bit. The striping it could be the bit where it could go a bit... It could go a little bit funny. It just depends on when it's going to pick the tool up. Put the tool down and it could... Basically destroy some of the headland bits around. Now if I've got another tractor, I could potentially go around and follow it with the baler. But unfortunately, I, I'm doing everything with one tractor at the minute because we can't afford another one. So we'll let him crack on. And we should be able to then go and bail this. And if you've left your predictions below, we'll find out how many bales we get off this field. So I'm being a little bit naughty. I'm using the Vultra, which is part of the Sugar Beet contracts. I'm using that on my own field with my baler to just sort of try and... It'll kill two birds with one stone here. We've got a worker doing the swathing there. As you can see, he's windrowing it up, making some nice swaths for us. He's not actually doing too bad. I was a bit concerned thinking they're going to, like, run over the swaths, but it's, it's actually all right. So I'm having to sort of keep stopping and starting because, obviously, we can do this for so long, and then I need to go back and unload the sugar beet. But I just thought, why not? You know, it doesn't stop you using it for stuff like this. I think you really shouldn't. But if I can just get some of this up here, it kind of saves me having to go around. Now, I think you can do bailing with course play. I think you have to just set it on the same course as what the mower used, I believe, or maybe the windrow. I would need to check again and see, you know, there is a way of doing it. You have to just set it on the same path as one of the tools i don't know if, it, if it's the windrow or the mower and then it will actually go round and get it all but i just thought for now you know i'll uh, i'll have a go at doing this and i do think we are going to get a fair amount of bales i have reset the bale counter on the bale list so we will come back and see when it's all bailed how many bales have we got i found a new mode of transport for the trailer for the <laughs> for the sugar meat super strength is awesome it means i can keep the trailer and the tractor so on the baler and i can pick this up and um, well if i lift it up in the air we can then super run over to <laughs> where the sugar beet is and um yeah if we just go and actually put i'm quite surprised i'm running and i'm still managing to kick up dirt so if we just go and pick this up from the back end we should be able to get it here and he should still tip into it because he doesn't know the difference yeah <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Mate, are you tipping into it? Oh, I didn't... Not far enough. My bad. Sorry, mate. Here we go. Hang on. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Oh, no. That's the difference, isn't it? With the, the big thing on the top, it's struggling to tip in. It is tipping in, actually. What about that? We've made this trailer even higher. That the work is not lifting that up enough. Now, if I was doing it myself, you can adjust that little spout there and tip it up a bit more but it is going in strangely 
I, I didn't really think about super strength. And I thought, oh, I'm going to... Oh, I thought, I knew this guy was full. Get off my trailer. Get off my trailer. There we go. I knew that guy was full. I thought, right, I'm going to have to drop the baler, run across here. And I thought, hang on a minute. Super strength. Pick the trailer up. Take the trailer to the harvester. Genius. So while the workers were sorting out the fields and they were doing some baling and stuff, and this is obviously a guy over here is doing the uh, sugar beet, I just thought I'd have a bit of a nosy round the map. And I stumbled across a few things that I forgot was on the map. Collectibles. So the balance has gone up a little bit because I saw this area here on the map. And I wanted to see what it was because you can see these are all fields. This is not showing us anything, but it's 833,000. I'm like, oh, what's this here? You know, what, what, what is this area? And this area here, it's the beach. It's where the BGA is. I didn't know where that was, but I've now managed to find where that is. And as I was looking around here, I saw some little, like, jeeps and tractors. And I'm like, what are them? I'm like, oh, collectibles. So I've managed to get a few collectibles from this area around here, which has put my bank balance up now. I think we made about six grand. Was it six or seven? I can't remember what I was on. I was on five or six. So we're about 12 grand now, so that's not bad. But yeah, so this is where the BG is. This is probably where we're going to have to bring our signage down here. And it, it's sort of, it is in the middle of the map, really. Well, it's a bit more towards the bottom end here. This is our farm. But I wanted to see what the field was, because it's like a, a, well, this here next to it. I'm like, what is it? What is it? And I'm guessing this is where Oxygen David, who, if you're not aware, has made this map. It looks like you see you can actually go and buy it. So it's development land. That's pretty cool. So this, I'm guessing, is where on this map, this would be your like, placeable area. So this is where you could literally buy this whole plot. You could build your own farm on here, put your own animals on here. Or you could just go to town on factories and productions. So I didn't think this map had anywhere for that, which is one of my reasons why I wanted to keep away from productions. I thought we'll just do some good old farming because there's nowhere really to put it. Didn't realize there's an actual whole area here, a development land that you could buy. And it is huge. It's massive. So it doesn't mean we're going to suddenly start doing productions. Now. I'm still going to stick with no productions and no loan. But yeah, it's, it's good to know that we have got this here. So you could potentially buy this and there's nothing to stop you plowing it up and turning it into a, an absolute massive field. But there's enough big fields on here that I don't think we need to really do anything with this. I was having a bit of a look around as well, because this is Jimmy's field here. And I thought, I wonder how much he's, he wants for it. 518,000. I wonder if we could try and give him a bit knocked off. But then I looked at the little chart, the field info in the corner here, and... It's got nearly 40% of silty clay and 40% loam. Loam's the good stuff, but the silty clay's not. So that wouldn't really... Maybe that's why Jimmy let it go to ruin. But then this is the field that I'm interested in. So this is where the grass field is at the minute. This is what we've been doing the, uh, the baling of the hay in. This one is the one I'm, I'm tempted with to get this as my like, permanent dedicated grass field. That would be quite a nice one. Again, doesn't matter too much. It's loam, but got a bit of silty clay in there. Again, doesn't matter because it's grass. It won't affect it too much. Then this one at the back. This might be a nice field to purchase as an actual arable field. Because, look at that, 78% loam. Just a little, a little 16% of silty clay. Sandy loam's not too bad. But only 16% silty clay. Most of it is loam. That is going to be a nice field. As you can see, Plus 115% on the yield. Compared to maybe this one off Jimmy. Which is just 104. That is a beauty. We've got like this as well. That's just 101. And would you believe it? That is another development land up there. So that's another one you could use. I really do think this is something to work towards. But it is nearly 600,000. So probably not something we can get anytime soon. But definitely a goal to work towards. So the sell point for this contract is down here. Tucked away down the back here. It's just this on the floor here. So we should be able to drive through here. Well, we're going to struggle to find a place to turn around. So if we go out the back here, there we go. So let's go and uh, tip this into here. It'll tip in nice and quickly because this is a modified trailer. 
as you can see no money going up because it's just going for this contract it's purely not paying us anything now when we get to the end of the contract there will be some left over it says at the top there 15 percent transported for field 13 oh my that's not much at all is it yep so if we're going to look on the contract here you can see look 115,907 we're going to get paid for this minus five odd thousand we're going to take off so about about 110,000 we should get for this and then obviously we will get a bit left over so it's not the whole field that is going to complete the contract we're 15 percent through already but we will get some sugar beet over which will actually sell and give us a nice bit of money so i think it's worth doing it's gonna take quite a while to do so all the hay bales have been collected and i've just put them here now outside this shed because that's where they're going to go in so got the task of moving them in there's a nice amount in there if you want to know how many all together 27 so close just a few off 27 bales of hay now the good thing is they are quite light but they're eleven and a half thousand liters each so that's quite a quantity if i go and check on my stock check it it does say that i can sell them but it tells me the quantity as well so we've got 310 and a half thousand liters now for sell them now 33 grand sell them at the best time in jan 34 but we don't want to sell them we want to stock these up so we can do some tmr for the cows so i was having a look at these then these have got the 48 percent fermented and these ones these are the latest ones that we did and i was saying in the previous episode that the grass bales have got some weight to them but obviously these are also grass turn into silage, so they're exactly the same if we look at the bottom it says each bale is 1.6 ton in weight no wonder picking up two of them was a bit of a bit of a mission if we have a look at the hay the hay's coming in at 672 kilograms just over half a ton bit of a difference what about the straw what's the straw 621 so that'll be why we could pick up a couple of straw ones without looking like it was having an issue but the grass ones and well see silage is going to be exactly the same that's why picking up two of them it was quite a bit of weight on there so really this thing did quite well for the amount of weight what was on there so i think really now there isn't much else we can do. I'm going to sit and go through and put these in. And then we're going to just keep an eye on the uh, sugar beet guy. Yeah, he's got a lot to do. I think this is like headland number 10. So I think this is number 10. I think he will start striping up and down then. Boy, this is going to be a long night. So there was one thing I was thinking about, which I thought might be nice to have on the farm. So we've got cows. We've got a, a proper built-in cow shed. We've got somewhere for pigs. We could do horses. The only thing I can't find on here is anywhere for chickens. Now I'm assuming you would have to put in your own chicken coop. I was thinking maybe this little bit of land here is still part of ours just before you go just past here to where this field is. So there is bits of rubbish in that in the background here, but I'm just thinking we could put one here. Just on this corner. Obviously, this is our private road, so there's no like traffic coming past. I just think it could be quite nice to have a chicken coop on here. We'll get some eggs. That'd be quite good. So I'm going to go through now. I'm going to put a chicken coop in here. Now, there isn't many different ones we can go for. We've we've had this one before. I don't know if you can quite see that one. I'll bring it over here so you can see a bit better. Just a plain standard one that holds 30 chickens. We have got one like built into the game. As you can see, it says not enough money because it's nearly 80,000. So this is one built into the game. We have also got some mod ones, which does look really nice i do like that that looks really good 15 grand again we haven't got that kind of money We've got other ones here they all look really nice this is 20 grand this one again really nice this holds 360 and i was having a look through we have got like fenceless ones where you could just see you just got the trough at the front and there's no fence around them i was saying that looks a little bit weird that doesn't it just chickens open unless it's built into the map that is a map, I think, Valley of the Old Farm, where they run around the whole farmyard. Well, that's 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 different, you see. That's kind of like how it's meant to be. Now, we have used this one before, but I have found a new one, which, again, it has 360. Nothing special. And I'm really not sure how that's got 360 lot could fit in there. But it, it looks nice and simple. We don't want anything too drastic and it's eight grand so with me finding them collectibles a little bit earlier 
potentially we could get this we've got wheat already so we could give them food straight away and it should leave us enough money to be able to actually get some chickens in here so i'm gonna go through i'm thinking of putting it just here and i'll look pretty good it will clear the ground up a little bit and we might be able to clear the ground up around it so we'll have a, a look when it's done so let me get this sorted so there we go then chicken cooper's in he oh hello how'd you get out he's on the outside which um i don't think should happen but anyway okay we'll leave him to it so yeah it's, it's pretty simple this is you just sort of put some food in here oh he is he, he's oh he's escaping so really there isn't really much to this then we just got the food that goes in here and then this little area here is the spawn point where the eggs appear i just think it's you know it's, it's just something nice nice little addition nice and small it has left us quite low though so at the minute we have got 50 chickens in there out of 360 that will fit in there it will reproduce so it's, you know we'll just maybe stick with the 50 and let them reproduce really it's free then isn't it maybe if we get some more money we could put some more in but for now we'll stick with that we've got 681 pound left in the bank account that's uh that's a sorry sight so let's go grab me tractor and i think while we have this legal trailer here on contract should have been really for the sugar beet which is just ridiculous how small it is we'll just go and back up let's just uh spin around we'll just go and grab this and we'll, we'll give them some food from this we'll use this to do some wheat and i'll double check if that is the right point there so go outside a little bit now uh, we should be able to go through here it takes 9,000 litres, so if we just sort of stop it, you know, before that. Wheat, yep. Yeah. There we go, 9,300, that should be enough. So if we back up now, I'm going to spin around this way because I can't see from inside. Hopefully, just here, if, it, if this doesn't look like the trough area, we should get the tip trigger right there. Let's go put some wheat in for them. There we go. The wheat is in. The chickens are happy. So there's nothing really we need to do with the chickens now. We've put the grain in. They are happy. we just got to wait for them to mature, to grow, and the eggs to appear. So the cows are looking all right. still got plenty of food. We've got 1,000 litres of milk now, and ooh, there were 4,000 litres of slurry. Sheep are doing well. 237 litres of wool these are just going to keep progressing as time goes on so i've just had a quick look through the farm and i thought well because the bank balance is so low i need to return my little uh, all-terrain vehicle because i thought that's going to take 500 pound for leasing and then i realized that i still got leased fertilizer spreader from when we did the fields just here to the right and that like straw blower thing which chops up the bale and throws it in for straw I didn't realize that I still got them on lease, so it's we're paying extra for them when I didn't need to. So I've sent them all back now so we don't lease anything. And this was the bale that came out of that blower. It's only got a couple of thousand liters left in it. So what I'm doing is uh, casually just walking down the road with my bale. To just sell everything, kind of sell point just over here. And to give me a little bit of money, I am going to throw this on here and uh, get rid of it. So literally, it wasn't much, £175. So we're now at 865 so it, it, i didn't want to go put that back on the pile afternoon no everyone just ignores you around here um so let's just have a quick look while we're here over the sheep we'll jump over here oh sheep are just chilling out so i don't think we've got much left is that in, actually in the trigger i think it is in the trigger so yeah there was two bales here there's only one left now so that's going to keep topping that up there isn't much in it what's in that bale in the bale is like 226 liters so yeah that's that's not gonna last long oh look at this we're getting some wool so at least i found out where the wool spawns and i wasn't sure where that spawns over here pretty good so they've got enough water they've got enough food yep he looks happy strutting off look at that well, I think that's a pretty good day. A bit of an update then of what's going on over winter. 
I'm going to keep going with this massive task of sugar beets. Have a quick look through and see what what we're looking like. Oh. Why is he part? Oh, well, I know why he's part. I was thinking, why is he part there? Because obviously the tip side is on the left, as we see. So he's moved away from the sugar beet so I can get to it. How very kind of him. So I've got quite a task of going through and finishing off this oh, ridiculously sized field. Whose bright idea was this? Oh yeah, mine. Well, we'll leave it there. And hopefully we'll come back to a nice big bank account when I, next time I see you. So thank you so much for watching. And if you do like this, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.